So let's see together in this um, video or in this lesson le style indirect avec demander et l'impératif. So we'll still continue uh, this series covering le style indirect and more precisely the interaction between le style indirect and the verb demander. Demander is to ask. Okay. And in this video we'll see how it goes when in the direct speech you have an imperative, an impératif. So obviously it won't be possible to transpose it into this, I mean the same imperative form. So we'll see how to do and basically when you transpose from direct to indirect in that case you'll have to introduce the preposition de. Okay, and after that, maybe the rest will change slightly. This is what we are about to discover. So let's take an example. Simple example, regarde. So you can see that it's, it's, it's an imperative form. You've got this uh, point d'exclamation at the end. It's like an order, a strong advice, an advice. Regarde. Translation, look. So this is direct. And then look how we will put it when we transform that into this indirect speech. Je te demande, so I ask you. Remember I told you preposition de right after the verb. Huh? De. And so think about that. The second verb should be in the infinitive form, in the basic form. So this is the reason why we will end up with regarder, remember, with a R in the end, because it belongs to the first group of verbs. Je te demande de regarder. I ask you to look. So you can see that the interesting thing in that case is you will have to put the pronoun te, uh, because I ask you. Remember that in French, we've been doing, I mean, lessons about that. We've been seeing that uh, previously. The pronouns will always come before the verb. So I ask you, this you in English, in French, it will be I, you ask. Okay, je te demande. And after that, preposition plus verb. Okay, so you can see that because demander is using these pronoun C-O-I, we'll have to use them in this indirect speech. So I've been giving you all the uh, pronoun C-O-I. Once again, if you don't know what they stand for, I would definitely advise you to look at the video. We've been covering that uh, quite thoroughly, so take the time to watch the video. But let's go to the pronoun. So je... And then this me will be the first one of the prononcé oui. Je me demande. Je te demande. Je lui demande. Je nous demande. Je vous demande. Je leur demande. Okay, so, je me demande. I ask myself. Hein. Je te demande. Je lui demande. Je nous demande. Je vous demande. Je leur demande. So that's the reason why in the previous example we had regarde, je te demande de regarder. Okay, so technically it would be possible, I mean not, not related to this example, but it would be possible, we agree on that, to, to switch and to change this je te demande with something else. So if I want to say I ask him to look, I will put, as we saw it was lui, je lui demande de regarder. I ask him to look. D'accord? Remember that this lui stands for uh, um, the masculine and the feminine when it comes to this pronoun oui. So, fais ton travail. Fais ton travail. Do your job. Je te demande de faire ton travail. So you can see that we, we've got exactly the same uh, configuration here now. So, je te demande, uh, I just imagine that I'm just saying that to one person, so it will be I'm using the second person of the singular. I ask you. De, we put the preposition, 
then the verb coming right after should be in the infinity, infinitive form. So remember, it is faire, to do, to make. Faire, you should put in the inf infinitive form. And then ton travail. Je te demande de faire ton travail. I ask you to do your job. Fais ton travail. Interesting, it's exactly the same. <laughs> But then in that case, look, I want to transpose that and I want to show you that basically in the example that we had previously, it was je te demande, I ask you. But as you can see, if I am changing this I ask you and then I'm putting this lui, so which is for the third person of the, the singular, it can as we saw, stand for the masculine form. So it could be I ask him. But it also, it's possible to, to translate it with I ask her. Because this pronoun will stand for masculine and feminine. So je lui demande. So now it's clear. We put the preposition de as we had previously. We put the verb in the infinitive form. It doesn't change, it's fair, so no surprise there. But now you can see that before travail, I am putting this adjective possessive. So I need, obviously, to change it. Now it will be in the third person. It cannot be in the second person because the second person would be for you, for tu. In that case, I need to put son. And then you put travail. I ask him to do his job. Je lui demande de faire son travail. But it will be exactly the same thing in French for I ask her to do her job. Je lui demande de faire son travail. So this is, this is one of the tricky things that you need to, to, to remember, especially if you are uh, English uh, speaking. In that case, as you can see, it's quite a gymnastic form from the, the, the concept in, in English uh, uh, if you, 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 you compare it to the, the, the French version. So let's see now this répondez-moi, answer me. So if you look... Je leur demande de me répondre. Now, so on purpose, I wanted to put the plural form just to see exactly how it goes with the pronouns. So I ask them to answer me. Je leur, so in that case, it's the plural form, demande. Okay, remember, we put the preposition de. And after that, remember how it goes with these pronouns. I mean, they should come before the infinitive here me répondre je leur demande de me répondre dis-moi à quelle heure tu rentreras ce soir tell me what time you'll be home tonight je lui demande de me dire à quelle heure il rentrera ce soir? I ask him to tell me what time he will be back tonight. So let's look at the, the, the structure. Je lui demande. Okay, so no surprise there. Uh, we've got the subject. We've got this prononcé oui, lui, before the verb. So far, I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise. De, so we know that this is the subject of uh, this uh, this lesson so the preposition de then me dire uh, we saw that because we have dire here in the infinitive form the pronoun is of course coming before me dire à quelle heure il rentrera ce soir so the rest is actually quite simple because it doesn't change from the direct uh, sentence okay je lui demande de me dire à quelle heure il rentrera ce soir. So remember, it's not that tricky if you try to, 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 to look at it in a rational manner with French eyes, I guess. Uh, remember to, to, to work on the, on the pronouns. Remember to put them uh, in the proper order because this is, uh, this is the, the, the key point about that. Remember also to, to, to put the preposition de and, and of course your verb after that should be in the infinitive form. 
Voilà, merci pour votre attention.